The Dawoodi Boras are a Muslim community, hailing mainly from the western region of India. Settled in over 40 countries across the globe, aggregating around 1 million members of the faith. Most Dawoodi Bora community members live in India. Today, there are many Bora communities in Pakistan, the Middle East, Yemen, and East Africa, with growing populations in North America, Europe, Southeast Asia, and Australasia. Dawoodi Boras are united by a set of centuries-old principles, an unwavering commitment to our faith, a genuine love for the countries in which we live, a belief in the value of society, education, women's empowerment, engagement with other faiths, physical health and well-being, and a responsibility to care for the environment and all creatures that dwell within it. Despite our relatively small numbers, Boras all over the world play productive roles, enriching the fabric of the societies in which they live. To actually see what the Dawoodi Bora community is giving to Leicester, I mean, it, you know, it is a real honour and a pleasure to spend time with the community and to see you know, all the work that they're doing, you know, how, how much they are kind of doing in terms of their own self-resilience for their own community, but then also for the, the wider community, the kind of health initiatives, you know, and, and the hard work and charitable work that they do. I mean, um, it is one of the you know, humbling aspects of the job of being Lord Mayor. Dawadi Boras follow the Fatimi Ismaili Tayyabi school of thought. Our faith is based on the belief in one deity, Allah, in the Quran as the word of Allah and in the sacred mission of the prophets and their successors. Boras adhere to all religious practices ordained by the Sharia, including reciting the Quran, the five daily prayers and fasting during the holy month of Ramadan. Boras throughout the world are guided by our leader, the Adail Mutlaq. The present leader is the 53rd Adail Mutlaq, His Holiness, Dr. Sayyidna Mufaddal Saifuddin. He acts as our guide and mentor, regularly reminding us of the role that each of us must play to be an exemplary citizen of the country in which we live. His Holiness counsels us to dedicate ourselves to activities that contribute to the development of our cities and those that benefit our fellow citizens. Being a Dawdi Bora is something we are taught from birth. It is something that is within us. It is something that we believe. We believe in love. We believe in peace. We believe in unity. We believe in being part of the society that we are in. The Dawadi Bora community has a blend of ethnic cultures from Egypt, Yemen, and India. In addition to speaking local languages, we have our own language called Lisan al Dawat, which is derived from Arabic, Persian, Urdu, and Gujarati. Dawadi Boras maintain a distinct form of community attire. Men of the faith traditionally wear a predominantly white three-piece outfit and a white cap with golden designs called a topi. Women of the faith wear a two-piece dress called the rida, distinguishable from other forms of the hijab by its bright colors, decorative patterns and lace. Women in the Bora community play an equal role in pursuing an education and have thriving careers in a range of industries from healthcare teaching, academia, and business. It's a very wholesome, holistic life. It's not a one-sided, uh, unidimensional, we're not always like waking up and praying, 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 you know, we're normal human beings, you know. We're 
all business people were ambitious in the world and were ambitious in our religion. So that's why we're, we, you know, we dress the way we do and we do the things we do because we are an ambitious people, you know, and we want to contribute to the larger community in, in, the, in that same spirit. Dawadi Boras are proud of their culinary tradition and have a unique system of communal eating around a particularly large metal plate known as a thal. Family and friends join each other at home and members are seated in groups of eight or nine during community events. We often share a traditional Bora meal with local friends and neighbours while imparting a multi-faith message of unity and peace. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa alihi wa sallam, has taught us that love for one's country is an integral part of our faith. In our religion, it is compulsory, it is called Hubbul Watane Min Al Iman, that you have to be faithful to the flag where you make your living, where you live, where your children grow up and go to school. So, Although my background is Pakistani, some are Indian, some are African, but once they come and live in the U.S., this is their country. So I am an American Pakistani, not a Pakistani American. Boras are renowned for being successful business people. The word Bora comes from the Gujarati word for trade. With a particular focus on hard work and education, many Dawdi Boras run successful businesses, creating jobs, generating wealth and contributing to the growth and development of the nation. We also count among our community many doctors, IT professionals, teachers and academics. Boras are involved with many interfaith associations, joining congregations of all religious denominations to network, share community news and learn a little more about each other's faith. Project RISE is a wide-ranging global philanthropic initiative established by the Dawdi Boras to improve the lives of the less fortunate among us in many different ways. We work in partnership with government bodies and local organisations around the world. Projects such as water security, improved sanitation, female empowerment, education for all, alleviating hunger and reducing food waste and raising health and nutrition levels among children and mothers. We subscribe to the view that nobody should go to bed hungry, regularly organizing food drives to feed the homeless and those most in need. One of the most important recent initiatives of Project RISE is turning the tide a global drive to eliminate single-use plastic and rid bodies of water of plastic pollution. Boras regularly lead practical efforts to protect, enhance and clean up the natural environment wherever we live, while raising awareness among the wider community of the need for sustainable development. While we might look a little different with our distinctive dress, we are proud of the meaningful role that we play in all societies in which we live and in which we work.